So FedEx got the box here in good condition, although they left it in the rain a little bit, partially in the rain. So it's soggy, but otherwise in good condition. Kind of wanted to send it USPS because uh, when they leave packages, they put them in a bag. If there's any chance of rain, they put them in a plastic bag. And the other guys don't do that. It would have been nice this time. Should be okay though. Without further ado, let's rip her open. In the box, two pairs of probes, a USB A to B cable, power cord, and a manual. US, definitely. And of course, the unit itself, which you've probably figured out by now, is an oscilloscope. A Rigol oscilloscope. And there she is. Rigol 1054 oscilloscope. Quite a tiny little unit. Smaller than a boombox. Like kitty playing with his ball in the background. Well, a couple little irritations with this scope. Mainly the manual kind of sucks. Well, it's a quick guide, they say. Um, and some of the word, wording is just, you know, like uh, the usual Chinese type stuff, you know. What do they call that? Chinglish. The manual's not great, but I guess I'll figure it out. So I went online to figure out how to enter the key, because I... I got the key as a part package deal for this thing. I got the options all included. So I got to type into this key generator in the on the Regal site, which wasn't that easy to find. I had to look around to find it. I mean, they should have had instructions somewhere to how to do this thing. And I didn't see anything in the manual. Not much online. I finally figured it out, but it took quite a while. And I got to type in this big, long... Uh, number from the manual, well from the certificate they gave me and then I had to type in this big long serial number and then it generates this big long 28 alphanumeric key and then you gotta put in the key with this little knob here one at a time my first one, B, A it's a little really tough, sometimes you get the wrong key but you gotta do that for 28 keys and I had it all in there and you really have to look at the Characters are small, sometimes you enter the wrong character because it's really kind of a flippy way to do here. And sometimes you end up, when you hit the push button down, it toggles over another digit, left or right if you're not careful. Anyway, I had that whole 28 digit thing in there and the thing blinked on me. It's like whenever I moved this, I'm sitting on my lap to make this easier. Whenever I move it, it would blink out. Eventually I, uh, I thought I had the power cord in all the way, but I finally figured out that I could shove it in a little bit further. And it seems to have alleviated that if issue. That was quite a drag that I'll lose this screen after I had all 28 characters dialed in and checked and rechecked and blink! Gone. But I'll be learning. It looks like uh, going online is the easiest way. The only way I could really get to the menus in here, I couldn't see anything clear in the manual to lead me through it. So I went online and all, all the ones online were about how to do it illegally. There's all kinds of key gen sites set up where you can Put your stuff in and choose your options and they'll generate a key for you. You know, illegal ones. I got a legal key, but I still don't know how to put it in. I had to use the illegal information to figure out how to put my legal information in. And it's still kind of convoluted to get to this stage. But now that I'm in it, I'm going to take my time and put them in one by one. And see if I can make this uh, feature update stick. Right now I've got all the features anyway because they're all on trial basis. But I don't want that to expire. I just want to get this in and be done. You know, while I'm down here with internet access, before I take this up north where I have no internet access, less able to deal with things. 